Hey everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat, and we're back for more Let's Play Cave Story. And yes, I'm talking over what the number two in the village is saying. Oh well, don't care. <sighs> Another wonderful day of doing things by myself. Getting back from the egg storage area is just as easy as going forward. <laughs> so I didn't feel the need to show it. Let me out of here, now! Shut up. Roka was taken by mistake because of you. One way or another, I'm handing you over to them. I hate you. If Roka isn't safe, I'm gonna tear you apart. Well, that's nice. Let's go see what they're up to. Anyways, yes. Solo endeavors. Gotta love them. This is what happens to those who defy the order of the village. Okay. I've been caught. The doctor's men mistook another Mimiga for me and kidnapped her instead. That girl, Taroko, she treated me so well when I had trouble getting used to everything. I have an idea. You can go in my place. My brother, Kazuma, is stuck in an area called Bushlands. Bring him back here. Okay. We thunk. Bushlands! There's a lot we can do in Bushlands, actually. Oh, I hope Taroko isn't hurt. Whatever. Don't care about you. It's teleporter! Let's go to Bushlands! We and welcome to the first new area of the game. Hello, my name's Santa. I went to get some water and was attacked by those monsters. So I ran back home, but I dropped my key on the way back. Now I can't get into my own home. Sounds like a job for super robots. Defender of Justice! Champion of the Mimiga! I don't know what those big things are called, but don't let them squish you, they hurt. In fact, everything here hurts a lot. Uh, but they're worth a lot of Doritos. Yay, Santa's key! Okay, back up the hill we go. We've only got two weapons now, but we will get some of the better... Oh, that's the key to my house. Yay! Thank you. Please come over. I have something nice for you. Okay. Ah! Darn it. Anywho. Dangerous, trap is instant death. Yeah, don't fall on the red spikes. Thanks again for the help. I'd like to give you something. Yay, fireball! This is weapon number one we can get in this area. We can get two of them. You looking for someone? I haven't seen anyone around here. But if you plan on going further in, you'll need to go through the fireplace inside Chaco's house. Oh. Okay, that's odd. Yes, we can rest on beds, by the way, just so you know. Yeah. You go through the fireplace in Chaco's house, you get... Yeah, 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 we heard it. Now the fireball! Yeah, yeah. It's okay. If its deal is that it bounces. Which... Kinda makes it okay, I guess. It's really good for taking out things that are downhill from you. As you can see, it also fires decently upwards. Here's where its strength comes into play. Now, funnily enough, the next weapon we can get in this area or because of this area, is 
arguably the best weapon in the game. <laughs> and I just got my ass kicked. Doritos! Yay! Two full bags of Doritos! Nummy nummy Doritos. Bats are difficult as hell to hit with this thing, as are any flying enemies. So, I would actually stick to the Polar Star if I were you for this area, simply because... Damn it, this is difficult. Really? Really? Fine. Ow. Jerk. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Doritos! And a rocket. And a rocket. Thank you. Really? Really? Oh, when you give a rocket, jerk. Jocko's house. Let's take a rest. Yay, life refilled. Hi, how may I help you? Wow, that thing you have there looks quite dangerous. I wonder, are you a traveler? And that's all she'll say. Save, yes. Game saved. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go over, look at the fireplace. See a hole on the other side of the flame. You can't get past the fire. You want to go through my fireplace? For that, you're going to need to get a bit of jellyfish juice. The big jelly has it. Okay. Put your hands on some of the jellies. Go for the biggest one. Now, here's the thing. We will get jellyfish juice three times while we're here. More Doritos. Yay! Level 3. A level 3 gun can fire 4, I think. Yeah, 4. 4 fireballs, they do the most damage. And they're still bloody useless, except on hills. As you can see. Sigh. Yeah, I, at this point I just give up and go to my Polar Star. It's the best weapon you're going to have here for a while. Uh, no. No. Die. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Ah, darn it. Darn it! Gotta get used to these, uh, fluid controls. Come on. Die. Ah. Now the Polar Star makes a great trap weapon. And that fills up the... Fireball. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Ah! Platforming is a bit tricky in this game, just so you know. And it's raining fireballs! Ow! Oh, more Doritos. Doritos are delicious. Very careful. Oh. Now, here's the best part about this one. It's giving us the most life we've had so far in the game. Come on. There we go. Obtained a life capsule. Yay! And this one gives us... Five more life. Isn't that awesome? Die already, all of you. 
Ow. Fortunately, I switched to the Polar Star first. Die. Crapping out the Polar Star isn't exactly going to hurt me any. Rocket time! Hit. Oh well. And we got the jellyfish juice. Now we could just go on and continue on with the story, but no, I'm not going to do that. Doritos! We're going to continue on back the way we came. Completely exit out of the area. But first, he'll... And also, more missiles. Oh, first, we get charcoal. So actually, we're going to get it four times. <sighs> Oh, okay. Don't mind me. We need to go back and get more jellyfish juice. And more Dorito chips. Because Dorito chips are awesome. Die. Die, die. Doritos. Fortunately, most things around here die in pretty much one or two hits. Especially from your Polar Star. And Fireball is even worse. If you can hit anything with it. Which isn't always a given. Although Fireball can be useful sometimes. This is not one of them. Star, a bit more useful here. Actually, all things considered, I think the uh, Polar Star is the most useful for this area. Now we get the jellyfish juice again. Why? Well, we're gonna need it again. We get it three times before we're done with this episode, not before we're done with this area. So as you know. Now let's go back to Arthur's house. Cause we got stuff to do. But not in Arthur's house. For you. Remember that one house in here that had a fireplace? Yeah, we're going there. Nice crackling fire. Let's see, it was up this way, right? No, not that way. Aha! It's this way. And use jellyfish juice on there, and we get the second weapon that we can get from this area. The bubble line. At level one, this blows. See? Once per button press, you shoot at a bubble. You may think that's worthless, but no, these bubbles actually do horrendous damage to enemies, so, you know. It's not completely worthless, but, yeah, it's gonna suck for a bit. Back to the bushlands. This is going to be pretty much our best weapon of this area. Swap over to Polar Star. Our usual standby. Get the bubble line stuff. Ow! Well, health is good too. Bubble line, bubble line, bubble line. Ow, 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 ow. Bubble line does minimal damage. <laughs> okay, Bubble Line is at level 2, which actually makes it useful. The level 
level 2 bubbles destroy pretty much anything in your path in a straight line. You have regenerating ammo for this. Aha! Almost to level 3. Where it actually takes a bit of getting used to in the other direction. Aha! Level 3. Now the bubble line is damn dangerous. Because it creates a bubble shield. Come on, die already. Thank you. The bubble shield will repel most enemies and enemy shots. It'll also, every time it goes past a certain threshold, pop a bubble which sends the bubble shooting energy out. Level 2 bubble line is pretty damn good actually. The level 3 will kill anything on screen. As you can see. Level 3 bubble line is awesome. Da 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 <laughs> And of course, if you stop firing the bubble line at level 3, it fires all of them at once. You get the jellyfish juice? Great work. You can only carry one jar of jellyfish juice, you can get over and over. Yes, let's rest. Get our health back. I'm getting our ass kicked. That's our inventory screen. Not all of your weapons have ammunition counters, but a good chunk of them do. Okay, die. Die. Also die. And die. As you can see, any any enemy that impacts with the bubble shield instantly dies. So this is a great way to attack things from a distance and basically get as much XP as you want really quickly. So this is your best XP farming tool. Now what I actually recommend for here is the uh, fireball. Because it'll bounce around and kill things without you having to be in the way. The bubble line will allow you to fire pretty much 100 at a time. Once that happens, you have to... Oh, hello. There's someone in the crevice. Hey, you! I need to get out of here. Would you please help me? Yes. Thanks. Please take this. Yay, the rusty key. Let's use it on that door. It's left in this room. Go ahead and use it, if you can. There's no keyhole. It seems to be rusted. What? Huh? What do you mean? It's not the right key for the door? Well, that's upsetting. If there's no keyhole, we'll need to break it down. There has to be a better way. There is a better way. It's this way. We could go up there and save, but why bother? Use the rusty key on this door. Power supply room. It's a robot. Looks like it's not powered on. Fan power supply offline. Malco power supply offline. Turn power on. Yes! Intruder sighted. Terminate immediately. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah! Did you know that the mini guy I found was it Sue? Yes. Yep. She was it Sue. Because of that, the doctor was extremely upset. Misery received quite the beatdown. Pity, since she's just a girl. Well, the master can't be disobeyed, so that's our fate. This time, I'm here to break you for real. Better prepare yourself. And Bubble Line makes this almost trivial. Although, realistically... Ow! 
Realistically, you could probably use just about any weapon and be fine here. Uh-oh. Yeah, like for instance, the Polar Star. Polar Star also makes this trivial. Just stand in one spot, basically, and let Balrog fly around you. Ow. Ow. Rockets to the face fix everything. What are you? Yay, we defeated Balrog. Head's been crushed in. His bad body is jammed into the floor. You want to pull his body out? Yes. Oh, thank you. You are a good person. And on top of that, so strong. Thank you for saving me. I would like to do something for you to express my gratitude. But, with that said, I am only capable of making bombs. You want to open the rusty door? What? Someone is trapped inside. You definitely are a good person. I understand. Let us make a bomb, then. We will demolish that door. Please locate the following in materials for the bomb. Charcoal, jellyfish juice, and gum base. Let us make the bomb at once. All the materials have been amassed. We've already got the charcoal. We know where to get jellyfish juice. All that's missing is gum base. And that involves a boss fight that I don't want to get into at the moment. So, let's uh, get our Dorito chips back. These things won't really fire at you unless you shoot at them, like I did. And they only shoot in the direction they're pointed, so that, yeah, there you go. Whee! Yeah. Ah, no, 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 no. Line. Ow, jerk. Yay, level up. Level 3 bubble line is nice. Anyways, we're going to call this a video. So, this is Man of the Black Hat. I'll see you next time for more of Let's Play Cave Story. Later.